Okay, so you want to make sure that you start with your fabric folded. And it, it normally comes um, in the mail folded, so you don't have to really worry about it. So I'm going to use a t-shirt that fit me pretty well as my template. And I'm going to fold my um, daishiki fabric in half again. So basically all the open sides should be matched up and all the folded sides should be matched up. And now I'm going to place my t-shirt onto the daishiki and I'm just going to use that as a guide. Now most people would cut their fabric about, I would say, three inches away from the t-shirt. But I want mine to be a little bit bigger because I plan on wearing it as a t-shirt dress. But you can do it however big you would like to do it. If you want to do it more form fitting, please do so. So I'm just going to cut along this line. And like I said, I'm using this t-shirt as my guide. Also, you want to allow at least an inch of seam room so you can actually sew up the sides of the fabric. So leave at least an inch of room. Okay, so once you have done that, you're now going to cut out the fabric to make the opening for um, the head. That's going to be cut around the neckline and you don't have to worry about unfolding the shirt because you want to make sure that the circle is perfectly cut out. Okay, so once you've done that, go ahead and turn your fabric inside out. And we're going to now work on pinning the sides of the fabric together along with pinning the arms, the sleeves of the shirt together as well. Just leave the bottom of the fabric unpinned because we're not going to work on sewing that yet. You're going to first begin by pinning the sides and then you're going to sew along the sides. Okay, so now you're going to sew along the sleeves and along the side of both sides of the shirt. And if you do not have a sewing machine, this is an option you can do. You can always hand sew it. You want to make sure when you start off your sewing to do a couple stitches and then move on. You can also use that fabric adhesive tape, um, but I wouldn't actually suggest that because if you plan on wearing the dashiki a lot and washing it, it may not hold up as well as sewing, but it's also an option and it is faster. So I left about a half an inch of seam room. It is okay to leave about a half an inch as long as you do not sew along the edge of the fabric. We wanna make sure we leave a little bit of room. So about a half an inch to an inch will be good. So once that is completed, you're now going to flip the shirt right side out and begin to hem up the neckline and creating the split that's down the middle of the shirt. Um, like on most daishikis you see, they have like the split in the middle. This is very, this is optional, but it is very common on most daishiki. So if you decide to do this, this is basically the technique that you'll do. And you want to also use the same sewing method when you're hemming up the neckline.
so I did all of my sewing off camera because I didn't want to make this video too long but I have now completed the sewing along the neckline we're gonna move on to the bottom of the shirt so I want to hem up the bottom of the shirt because the fabric came with these words at the bottom and I don't want that to show so what I'm going to do is fold over the fabric and then I'm just going to start sewing using the same sewing technique that I did earlier in this video. So you're going to first pin and then sew along that fabric. And that's basically everything that you need to know as far as the sewing part goes with this shirt. Okay, to make the jersey part of this daishiki, um, you can purchase these numbers and letters from Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Also, you may be able to find them on Amazon, but you make sure you follow the directions on the back of each letter and number, the ironing process, and also for washing these. So I decided to go with the word flossum. This is something that I've seen on Instagram and I just love the meaning of this word. I'm gonna place that on the screen so you can read it. It's basically all about self-love. I absolutely believe that you should definitely love yourself no matter the flaws that you have. So I use the number eight just because that's my favorite number, but you can do whatever you choose. I know Rihanna had Dime Piece and Beyonce had Africa on there, so do whatever you love. Give me body signals mm. hey. My friends tell I know, know. 